energy is a word very commonly used in the English language. But the science energy is very, very different. Let me define the word energy in science. You can say it is the ability or the capacity to do work. I repeat, energy is the ability or the capacity to do work. Again, uh, it's very tough to understand this just with the definition. So let me take a simple example. Let's say I have a ball and I roll it right on a table. Now this ball is moving because I pushed it. And let's say it, this ball goes and hits something like a block. The moment the ball hits the object, the object moves, right? And we know that when something moves, when a force is being applied on it and the object moves, work is being done. So this ball is doing work on that block. But how is it able to do this work? It's because it was moving, right? So this ball did work because it was moving. This means that it has the ability or the capacity to do work when it was moving. So therefore we can say, any object that is moving has the ability or the capacity to do work and therefore it has energy. More specifically, it has kinetic energy. So this means that any object that is moving has kinetic energy. Now let's talk about another type of energy called potential energy. Now, this is slightly confusing so I need you to pay attention. Okay? So let's say I have two balls. One ball on the ground, like this, and another one over here. Now, what's the difference between these two balls? Obviously, you'll say one is slightly at a height and one is on the ground. Fine. But let's talk about their capacity to do work. Or does that ball have any capacity to do work? No, right? It's just there. It, it's not moving. So, it, does, it can't really push or pull anything. Okay? But what about this ball? We know that the moment I let go of this ball, it's going to fall to the ground. Like this. And why is that? It's because obviously gravity is pulling it. But then again, the moment I let go, it does have the capacity to do work because it starts moving. So there is a difference between this ball and this ball. The difference being this ball does have a capacity to do work. And therefore, we say, even though it's not moving, it's stationary, it has energy and we say it has potential energy. Now let's take some other examples. Uh, let's say a spring. Now here, I have a normal spring and here I have a compressed spring. Now you should be able to predict where this is going. So in this spring, if I let go, nothing's gonna happen. It's just gonna remain there. But this spring, even though it is stationary, the moment you let go, it's going to expand, which means it's going to move, which means it has the capacity to do work. So this compressed spring or this spring in its compressed state does have the capacity to do work and therefore we say it has potential energy, whereas this spring does not have any potential energy. Another simple example is let's say two magnets that are like this attracting each other and I'm preventing it from hitting each other. Now at this position also, even though these magnets are not moving, they're stationary, they still have potential energy because the moment I let go, they're going to crash into each other, like this. So in all these cases, these objects have energy even though they're stationary and this energy is called potential energy. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.